unless you have equitable development in society, the people of that society cannot really enjoy the benefits of all other human rights, like the right to free speech, the right to liberty, all those things. So human rights are seen here in a holistic way in which development of the individual and of society is essential for the enjoyment of human rights. It will take time, but since this convention addresses both national governments and the international community, so there is a requirement at the national level as well as at the international level to ensure the realization of the right to development in various sectors, particularly for the most challenged communities, women, children, people with uh, disabilities.